Hey gang, did you know you can send notifications to iOS devices using Google Cloud Messaging? Well, you can. Why would you ever want to do that? Maybe that's a better question. Let's find out the answer on this episode of Route 85. So, notifications. They're a great way for you to engage with your users. They let your customers know you have important new information for them, and when used responsibly, they can be a great way to keep users coming back to your app. But they're not super fun to implement. There's a lot of steps required to set up notifications in the first place. You need logic on both the client and the server. And if you're developing a cross-platform mobile app, and most of you are these days, you have to do this for Android and for iOS. And uh, I'm not just talking about two sets of client logic either. It turns out sending notifications to iOS and Android devices requires different logic on the server too. See, if you've done any notifications work in the past, you're probably used to talking to APNS, that's the Apple Push Notification Service, to deliver notifications to iOS devices, and to GCM, that's Google Cloud Messaging, to deliver notifications to Android devices. And while sending notifications through these two services is similar, they each have slightly different features, use different protocols, accept different message payloads, and return different responses, all of which means that you gotta keep track of what kind of device each of your users has and use two completely different code paths to send a notification. Or do you? Well, well no, no you don't. You see, one pretty great feature about Google Cloud Messaging that a lot of people don't know about is that GCM can relay to APNS any notifications you wanna to send to an iOS device. Now granted, you'll need to do some setup work like upload your APNS certificate to GCM and make sure your client sends its device token to the GCM service. But once you've done that, you can use GCM to send all of your notifications, no matter what platform your target device is, and GCM will deliver your notifications to the correct device using the appropriate service. What all this means is that you don't need to care about what device your user has anymore. You just, has, you just have to write and maintain one code path, and as we all know, less code means less room for mistakes. But it's not just about using less code. By using GCM to handle your messaging for you, you can take advantage of some of the other nice features that GCM offers to developers, like topics. Topics allow your app to subscribe to notifications about any particular topic that you or your users want to. For example, let's say you've got a weather app and I, as a loyal weather fan, want to be notified whenever there's extreme weather happening in my zip code. Well, in the old way of doing this, you'd probably need to set up a database where you keep track of each one of your users and their devices and their zip codes and do this whole select users where blah 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 query, then loop through the results and send notifications to each device that you get back from this database query. But with topics, none of that's necessary. Instead, your app simply tells GCM that you're interested in subscribing to, say, the weather 94043 topic. Then, next time there's rain in California, for us that, that counts as extreme weather. Oh my gosh, there's something coming down from the sky! I don't know if it's water, if it's acid, I can't go out! I don't know how to drive anymore! Yeah, that seems about right. So yeah, with topics, your server simply tells GCM to send notifications to all devices subscribed to the weather 94043 topic. And I will get notified along with all other devices subscribed to that topic. So there's no database required. Go ahead and throw it out. Oh, uh, as long as you weren't using it for anything else, I guess. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. GCM has other useful features too, like upstream messaging, which allows your app to communicate to your server through GCM. This can be helpful in cases where you might want some lightweight communication from your clients to your server, but don't feel like dealing with the hassle of setting up and maintaining a full-blown server open to the entire world. Or read receipts, where in some, but not all, situations, you can be notified that a user has received your message, something you can't normally do through APNS alone. Oh, and in case you're wondering, all this is free, as in please send us zero dollars, uh, and it's using much of the same infrastructure that Google uses for its own apps, so it'll probably scale for yours. So there's a lot to learn when it comes to notifications, and I encourage you to get started here with our Google Cloud Messaging documentation for iOS. We also have a couple of sample applications for you to look at. There's Friendly Ping, our cross-platform chat app powered entirely through Google Cloud Messaging, as well as the GCM Playground, which lets you easily experiment with sending calls through the GCM service. And keep watching Route 85. Maybe you'll see another Google Cloud Messaging video pop up in the future. If only we had, we had some way of letting you know when that happened. Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs>